And hello again, YouTube. It is Tuesday, May 17th, 1.50 a.m., uh, so late Monday night. And uh, yeah, that last video cut off really abruptly because I ran out of space on my micro SD card. So uh, just been laying, um, although as you saw, Priscilla is uh, not home. And as you can see, her vehicle is still not here. So um, yeah, I, uh, I um, just mostly went inside and um, tried to relax, ate my burrito from 7-Eleven and, uh, and um, um, went to, uh, gosh, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just, just walking and talking and trying to get this out of my system and document that at 10 minutes till 2 in the morning, my so-called girlfriend is still out staying the night with somebody else. Um, thinking that I won't know about it because uh, she's assuming that I'm at work at Amazon. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty fucking shitty. Um, yeah, so I've just been going through uh, videos from, uh, uh, actually just from over the last weekend. Um, and uh, actually watching them and, and completing the, uh, the, uh, descriptions and I, I did upload another one uh, and, and honestly I could have uploaded a whole bunch but I'm kind of deliberately uh, taking my time uploading uh, the videos that I shot on Sunday evening just because Sunday evening was just so freaking disastrous I kind of want those videos to actually get uh, get views as opposed to only getting, you know, two or three views uh, <laughs> while I end up getting stuck on something like this, which I honestly hope doesn't get too many views at all. All right, so I'm scaring the neighbor's dog, but I wanted to come take a closer look at this. I've, I always took a handful of my videos, and every time I drive by it, I mention it. It's a wardrobe. It looks like it's made out of hardwood. This is not your normal cheap particle board furniture. This is... This is nice. That looks like somebody took the hardware off the off the drawers, but that's easily replaced at uh, um, Ace Hardware. There's some kind of uh, looks like somebody painted it and then decided they didn't really want it. And there's some some grooves in the door. Honestly, I just feel it gives it in the in drawers. I think it just gives a character. I'm cool with it. Um, or maybe it wasn't a wardrobe. Maybe this is you know what this kind of. Actually, this looks like a 19, 1980s or 1990s entertainment center, come to think of it. This looks like, like a spot where you would put a, put a tube TV, and that explains the back being, uh, being open. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely, definitely seen these for, for TVs back in the day with space um, underneath for like a, you know, a VCR and a VCR, maybe a home theater receiver. Or, hey, how about a VCR and a laser disc player? That would be cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, a modern TV would be... I mean, you could theoretically put a flat screen TV in there, but it would only come up to about... Only come up to about there. But uh, I think it'd make a damn cool wardrobe. Um, I could get the hardware to put a... Put a put a pole, you know, across from, from there to there and hang shirts up in it. Um... Yeah, this is nice. Um, oh, it doesn't. No, oh, I guess you got to close that one first. That door doesn't sh shut very well. Again, that looks like more like a matter of uh, hardware. I can always get more hardware at uh, at Ace, but this is this is nice. It's hardwood. Clearly painted white. I would imagine it had like a wood finish before and someone just painted it white for something to do. Not particularly fond of the white, but kind of a neat piece of, piece of furniture. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually come back for that one. Uh, I don't feel like moving it right now, especially since it's the middle of the night and I'm likely to alarm my neighbors. But, uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to... 
think I'm going to come back for that sometime tomorrow. Uh, make some space in my uh, in my storage unit here in the here. I'm, I've got a storage unit by my place. Um, in fact, I just popped back inside to make sure that um, I knew where the key was for it, just because I haven't uh, I haven't been carrying that key ring with me for quite some time. Um, that key ring's got a bunch of keys on it. It's got the key to my storage unit here. It's got the keys to my storage unit. It's my three storage units over at U Store, which I haven't been to in over a month. Uh, it's got, oh gosh, I'm trying to think what other keys it has on it. Um, it's got a key to a U bolt lock that I used to keep on my uh, Xiaomi M365 scooter, which I don't think I've rode in like a year. Um, <laughs> and I don't think I've had that that rode it with that U-bolt lock on it in three years. It's been a while. Um, in fact, come to think of it, this is the longest I think I've gone without an electric scooter since I discovered electric scooters. So, um, yeah. Uh, really, Jones in for an electric scooter again. Uh, Although, God damn it, my car should be fixed right now after so much fucking time and money. Um, and I really should be asleep comfor comfortably in bed, but, you know, I was looking to come home and surprise my girlfriend. Um, you know, I've been really frustrated because she's like, well, I don't have time for you. I don't, I've got things I need to do and I need to work overtime and I need to work on this. I need to work on that. So, you know. So, so, so because of that, um, um, bedroom fun is, uh, is off the, uh, off the agenda and, um, which to me is just absolute bullshit. And I called her out on it pretty hard today. Uh, she upset me this morning or, or technically yesterday. It was before midnight. It's after midnight now, but I called her out on it this morning. I, I'm like... I'm like, you know, I said, I'm just asking for five minutes. That's it. Like, I, I don't, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd love a, you know, couple hour bedroom session. That would be amazing. I mean, dang, when I was with Crystal, I mean, we went at it for hours and hours and hours. Fell asleep, woke up, went after it, went at it for hours more. And and and, and that's what I want. That's what I like. <laughs> would, would like to have that with Priscilla, but she just doesn't seem to have any... Uh, any libido left um it seems like she's just going completely frigid but i don't know now i'm just thinking that she's busy with somebody else and just doesn't have anything left to bring home to me because uh seriously like where's she been for the last two and a half hours i mean it's been almost two and a half hours since i came home and uh she still still hasn't shown up um yeah, I'm uh, pretty darn curious. If that's her coming southbound on uh, <laughs> I figure she'd probably pretty good chance if she's coming home, she's coming through this intersection. Anyway, I I don't know. You know, it, it'd be easier if I didn't care what the problem is. I still I still do and and largely that's because she's still living in my apartment. Um, yeah. I, uh... You know what I mean? You know, she's still pre pretending to be my girlfriend. She may as well do the, do the full act. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. So usually when I get home, if, if I get home like before, like if I get home earlier than normal and she's not there, if she comes in, I don't know how long she's been gone because I'm getting there, you know, early in the morning after I get off work. And usually her, her explanation, what she tells me is, oh, I just went to get, I just went to get breakfast and coffee. Um, or uh, I just went to get food, food and coffee, which I know she does. I know she goes, you know, to do that. So she's, you know, since she's doing the work at home, uh, 
work at home thing and um, her breaks really aren't long enough for her to go anywhere and she works for one of those kind of shitty employers that like is overly uh, they, they track her keystrokes I think they even have a camera on watching her the entire time she's working to make sure that she's that she's working full time oh, I wonder if this is her here Oh no, that's somebody driving a big killing machine style pickup truck and they're headed north. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I mean, I, I, I get that she works for one of those kind of employers that doesn't let her just kind of freely control her day like a lot of other people that work from home are, uh, can, you know, where they just need to like, eat the meat. <laughs> need to get you know basically get there because I, I you know some people that work from home they basically like crystal for example <laughs> coming back to crystal um like she has a certain amount of work that she's supposed to get done um and as long as she gets it done they don't really care what time she does it she's got a company provided laptop and uh i think the company also provides her internet access and she uh um yeah, she uh, does her work at her convenience. So if she wants to leave and go someplace to get lunch or go down and, you know, walk down to Circle K and get coffee or something, like it's, it's not a problem, she can do it. Uh, I do get that Priscilla has an overly controlling employer that, that, that during the hours that she's scheduled to work, she is kind of held prisoner in my daughter's bedroom, which she has no business being in in the first place, but that's a separate tragedy. Anyway, um, yeah, so she, uh, oh, this is something to be at least, least happy about. This is, this is where the bush was that uh, all the uh, homeless people were usually squatting, squatting in and doing drugs in. So, so at least that's not happening now. It's kind of nice to be able to walk down the street and not have to dodge homeless people or smell fentanyl. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm really walking this way. I'm not, not really thirsty, not really hungry. And there's a good chance that she's, when Priscilla drives home, she's going to be coming north on 46th Street and turning into the alley, in which case I wouldn't see her from here. So I think I'm going to walk back towards the park. Uh, anyway, oh, what time is it? 2.03 a.m. So, so now it's been yeah, two and a half hours that I've been home, that she hasn't, uh, hasn't been here, and it's now officially after bar close. So even if she went out to a bar, like it's, it's after bar close. So, um, and, and, and I mean, she knows that I had that fling with Crystal, so maybe she figures this is her, her big get even. And I guess that would be fair, but doesn't it doesn't make me like it. Um, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, she. Uh, I was kind of walking through the park, but trying to kind of keep an eye on my alley. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, and she usually tells me, you know, went to get went to get food, and I, I expect, I kind of expect she's going to use that same bullshit excuse on me. Like, <laughs> I feel like if if like she gets home at like if she gets home at uh, you know six forty five in the morning, seven in the morning, I expect that's the excuse she would probably give me. Uh, which, yeah, pretty lame. Um, there's a vehicle over there. This came out of the wall, out of the, uh, oh, no, it went past the alley. This came out of the back side of the, uh, Costco. Which, if she if she goes to uh, IHOP, um, that would make sense for her to be coming from that that coming from there. She's coming from IHOP. Uh, 
that's actually the most direct route to get to my place for my hop. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm, I, I, doesn't seem to be any homeless people squatting in the park for once. It used to be, you know, for quite a while, it just seemed like there were constantly homeless people under the trees here and in these, uh, uh, in these picnic shelters, but it doesn't look like they're here now. So maybe while I've been working nights, the uh, police have been successfully running them off. It does, speaking of the homeless situation in Phoenix, um, I mean, I've been showing y'all videos I go to and from Amazon of how much it's picked up on, uh, on um, um, 79th Avenue, just south of the freeway. Um, but I mean, like, comparatively, that's kind of a small encampment. Um, but yeah, I did a video recently and I just uh, added some, I just actually watched that whole video and uh, added uh, to its, changed the title so there's a reference to it, me going through uh, the zone, also known as uh, Phoenix's Skid Row. I made sure to put that in the title so people trying to search up video that can find it. Although I'm, I regret that I already deleted it off my phone, so I can't just edit that clip out like I was hoping to do. Um, yeah, because that, that clip would stand really well on its own uh, when I drive through the zone. And I'm, I'm headed on that video, and it was last, uh, last Monday afternoon. Uh, I'm heading northbound on uh, 9th Avenue from uh, Grant. Uh, I go all the way up to Washington Street. And uh, it's pretty obvious once I get into the zone. Uh, I can't tell if somebody's living in that Prius or not, but it doesn't, it's so hard to tell. <laughs> there are a few cars just kind of lurking over there in the parking lot as well. One of them has their lights on. Um, coming down that street. Um, it's a white car, not Priscilla. Could just be wasting time walking around waiting to see her drive up. I, I half expect she's going to stay out all night and just make an attempt to, you know, get home before, get home before 7 a.m. because she knows that I don't have my car, so if I take the bus, I don't get home any earlier than 7 a.m. So, could be she's playing that game. Uh, um, yeah, so... Um, So yeah, anyway, this morning, you know, I, when I got home from work, I, I had had such a rough day uh, Sunday night. And by this morning, I mean Monday morning. It's, it's still Monday night. I'm on rock and roll time. Until the sun comes up, it's my Monday night. In fact, generally until well after the sun's been up for a while and I get to sleep, it's still kind of Monday night in my, in my head. Um, but uh, anyway... Um, so, uh, my, my Sunday night was, if you haven't watched the videos, um, you know, go back through and give them a look-see. They were pretty freaking disastrous. Um, oh, it looks like her there. Maybe. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know if it's a sedan of some kind. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I, uh, woke up at four o'clock in the afternoon. My alarm went off as per usual. And in fact, I think I woke up a little later than that. I, I think I, uh, I feel like I woke, yeah, I definitely woke up later than that because, uh, I, I knew I had my car, and I think I, I think I had, I think I woke up at four, and then I set an alarm for later. I'm like, yeah, I don't have to be up that early because I got a car to drive to work. 
Uh, so when I woke up, I was kind of groggy and I'm like, <laughs> and I was, and, and, oh, it's all coming back to me now. My, my plan was that I was going to, uh, I'd staked out a place I was going to park near Phoenix police headquarters. And I was going to try to see how it worked out parking there, taking the Van Buren bus from, from there to, uh, to Amazon, working my Sunday night, Monday morning shift. And then I was going to take the, uh, I-10 West Rapid back home uh, I take the I-10 West Rapid back home uh, hop off hop off at the third stop as opposed to the first stop when it gets downtown uh, which is right next to police headquarters and then uh, walk to the car and drive home from there see how that worked out um, that was my plan uh, but I overslept that uh, so I woke up and I was a little, little kind of kind of discombobulated when I woke up because I realized, oh shit, I, I slept in too late for that. I just need to jump in my clothes and and uh, haul ass because I barely have enough time to to get to, to, to work now. Oops. And uh, I checked my, checked both my phones and I had a missed call on Obama phone number one, which is the one that's got my actual phone number on it. Um, cause this phone still has Brittany's phone number. Haven't really been talking about Brittany's phone number for a while, but, but understand I still get loads of calls and text messages for Brittany. Um, at one point I got an email address for Brittany. I really need to reach out to her through that email address cause, uh, I'm tired of my phone ringing every time she uses an Uber and her Uber driver's trying to locate her through his, uh, call your rider function. Oh, look, a shopping cart. They're, they're everywhere. Um, some plastic totes, those could come in handy. Uh, anyway, um, so, yeah. Uh, um, so, yeah, consequently, I'm not using the phone number on this. And I'm still kind of hanging on to it, because I, I feel at, at some point, if I can, and maybe I should work on that, like, uh, when... I give up on waiting for Priscilla to come home and just kind of go in and proceed to uh, be restless in bed because I don't know uh, where the where the girlfriend is and who she's staying the night with. Because, um, yeah, I'm not going to sleep worth a shit with her out like this. Um, yeah. Um, oh, she didn't come in the other way in the alley either. Still not here. Uh, so, uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm still kind of hanging on to that number on this phone, the one I'm recording with, uh, is I, I, I get the feeling she probably wants it back. It would make this sense to me that she would want it back. And I wonder if she just is just so just not tech savvy enough to realize that all these notices and messages and everything are still coming to this phone. Like, does she not understand that? Um, uh, I mean, I, I, um, anyway, yeah, I, I need to make an effort. I do have some, some leads on trying to contact her since my attempt to get a hold of her, uh, um, via Snapchat just resulted in her blocking me. Okay. I need to be attentive and watch for other people walking this way because, the other night I was walking down this alley and I just about walked into somebody and scared the bejesus out of me, which I think scared the bejesus out of him. Although when I looked over him, he just had this look at like, what the fuck kind of idiot are you? <laughs> he was looking at me. <laughs> not going to lie, I kind of felt like an idiot at that moment in time. And so, yeah, who, who, I'm sure this phone puts like kind of a weird eerie glow on my face as I'm walking in the dark talking to myself. Uh, anyhow, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, phone calls for me, like my phone number, which I've had for years and years and years and years, um, and, and have used it on pretty much all my karaoke book covers, promos, uh, um, business cards. It's, it's an easy number to find. I just don't feel like saying it because... <laughs> It's just, just kind of worried what the results of that will be. But anyway, um, if you try to find it, you wouldn't have much trouble finding it. It's a very published number. Um, anyway, that, uh, 
that uh, um, and there's another shopping cart. <laughs> Freaking fabulous. I wonder where this one's from. I wonder if it says where it's from. Costco Wholesale. I wonder how much Costco would pay me for bringing their carts back to them. I should really talk to the manager about it. Um, in fact, I should talk to the manager of all the local stores and see if they'd pay me to return their damn carts. That be, could be a nice side hustle for me. Uh, anyway, um, gosh, what time is it? 2.16 a.m., going on almost three hours that she hasn't been home. Yeah, too tired. Too tired to be intimate with me in the morning. Hmm, probably because you're out all night fucking somebody else. That would make me a little too tired for it as well. I'm actually out all night pulling a pallet jack and doing hard physical labor, and I still got the energy to do it. And uh, I'm the one doing all the work, because generally speaking these days, Priscilla just fucking lays there. Unlike uh, Crystal, who uh, rode me like a carnival ride. I was a little bit bummed that during that time I had a sore in my uh, like left arm and chest area. So when, sometimes when she tried to put her arms down on me, it just was excruciatingly painful. Because that's all healed now. That would be great right now. Uh, anyway. Um, Oh God, what was I saying? I so I tried thinking of, thinking of that shit and wondering where my girlfriend is at uh, 2.17 in the morning where she's been for the last three hours. Uh, anyway, um, I'm sure I have to load of horse shit she gave me this morning. Uh, anyway. Yeah, and I called her out on it pretty harshly at one point. I, I, because I could hear like around the house working on stuff. So it's like, okay, if you're legitimately working on stuff, that's that's great. Like I kind of love you to clean the kitchen and the bathroom and the, your disaster in the living room. So, like if you don't want to get it on with me, at least you know be productive. And if you're actually logging in and going to work, like that's you know that's fine too. Feed the cats, empty their cat box. That's you know that's constructive. That's worthwhile. But after a while, I get quiet. And it seemed like it'd be quiet for a bit, and I walked into the kitchen, and she's just on the back, outside my back door, smoking a cigarette, playing, uh, playing video games on her phone. I'm like, yeah, it's working really hard. I mean, that's good to know that that uh, that that my body means less to you than sucking on a cigarette on the back patio. All right. You could be sucking on me, you're sucking on a cigarette. That's the last thing I said to her today. She did text me when I was on the bus on the way to work. I didn't respond. I just, it just, and she just asked if I was uh, at work. I didn't respond. I'm still kind of pissed about this morning. And of course, this weekend and, and watching the videos as I uh, filled out the descriptions and, and a little more thoroughly and, and added uh, full full video names above and beyond just Dan Dan vlog and the number and, and and then of course deleted the original files to free up space on my SD card so I could shoot this um, which I expect to stop at any moment because I I don't know how much space I freed up but I, it's probably I'm probably pushing that envelope right now uh, anyway um, dang 28 minutes of course she could be home now and I wouldn't have seen it because I'm walking this direction but I'm wondering if maybe, just maybe, she's... There's some place I'm thinking she might be over here. Which makes me feel kind of like a stalker, but... I think it's kind of deserved at this point. Um, anyway. Um, how about those Apple AirTags? I'm hearing a lot about those. Uh, where, <laughs> where was I? Uh... Oh, man, I lost my train of thought completely. Uh, oh, anyway, yeah, as I was reviewing those videos, it was, it was, it just kind of brought the frustration all back to me as I'm reliving her being out all night Friday and, and, uh, being out all night Friday night and not coming home and 
until Saturday afternoon and then coming home for just, you know, about 20 minutes, just long enough to, uh, to play with my naked sleeping body enough to get me thoroughly turned on to where I'm thinking, well, God, at least she came home and she wants some of this and only for her to, uh, pretty much say that if I wanted to, I could, I could, uh, stroke it, stroke it in her general direction, but that I couldn't, um, actually, uh, finish with her could not could not do what adult people who live together do with her um and uh and then she uh proceeded to say that she had other plans and was going out and again this is not work this is not anything that could constitute work or taking care of her vehicle or taking care of of the mess that she's made out of my apartment and she's going out to some kind of social thing uh with friends and dressing up for it and she said well i'll be right back and then of course she didn't didn't come back eventually when she did come back i mean she brought me food that's nice but uh you know i kind of wanted her to finish what she started and what she should have been doing all night the night before when she was out all night with somebody else but no nah, she uh <laughs> Yeah, uh, just brought me food, was kind of upset that it seemed, acted kind of upset that I wasn't interested in food. You know, I, I, I can feed myself, girl. I can't fuck myself. Hello. I can, I can get better than this at 7-Eleven down the street. <laughs> but I, I don't think I want to hook up with any woman that I see down at 7-Eleven down the street. And it's probably not an option anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm kind of frustrated and all she does is just jump out of one outfit and dress herself up in another outfit. And she's like, oh, I'm going to the wander in and, and I'm thinking, well, maybe she'll come home after the bar closes, but she doesn't even do that. And I ended up just leaving it like, uh, and this is all fresh in my mind. Just watch the videos of it. But yeah, I end up leaving it like, uh, oh gosh, like four in the morning just to go for a drive. Cause I just can't bear just sitting at home being just frustrated and wondering where she is well there's a vehicle driving up behind me like a freaking maniac i'm gonna get out of the way i think this guy's speeding wow i'm reasonably sure the speed limit on this street is 25 it might be 30 not gonna lie part of me really wanted to pick up a throw rock at that fucking car And now he's driving like an idiot southbound on 51st Street. Pedestrians walk on 51st Street. Hope you don't hit one of them, asshole. <sighs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, I figured she'd come up to the bar. She didn't. And four in the morning, still not home. And I went out just for a drive to kind of... I was just so frustrated laying at home wondering who the fuck my girlfriend spends the night with and uh, um, super surprised to see her uh, super surprised to see her when I got home at uh, I don't know I went to uh, oh I went and that's what I did I went I went downtown to try to figure out where I could legitimately park um, to do the to, to drive downtown and then you know ride the rapid bus uh, <laughs> which of course is now a non-issue since my car died on sunday night oh and let's not forget my niece also died on sunday sunday morning um yeah i was i was going on the story and i just got all sidetracked how frustrated i was with him with priscilla but yeah so s sunday afternoon overslept realized i didn't have time for the uh didn't have time for the um uh, you know, to drive and, and do the bus, so I'd have to drive the whole way to work. And the first thing I do is I check check my phones for messages, and I check this this little piece of shit here, um, which I haven't. Oh, and of course it's unlocked in my damn pocket. Well, not unlocked, but it's turned on its display. And it's killing the battery. All right, um, that's got my phone number on that I've had for years. And, um, and I saw I had a missed call, didn't recognize the number, which is embarrassing because it was my mother. Um, 
I've lost all my contacts. I don't have contacts on that. Um, as soon as I can get myself another iPhone, uh, I'll be able to um, regain my contacts uh, just by logging into the iCloud. But <laughs> that doesn't work with dumpy Androids. I don't think it works with any kind of Androids. I don't know. Is there a way to get contacts from the iCloud into, the, into an Android? I should maybe Google that because it's maybe possible. I thought maybe, just maybe, she might be over here. Um, crashing it like her best friend's house, just not wanting to be in the mess that is uh, my apartment. <laughs> and, uh, um, but no, she's, she's not here. Yeah, I'd be some significantly less pissed off at her if she was over here because at least these are people that are also friends of mine that I feel feel cool with. Um, but uh, which reminds me, I never finished the story about the party at the multimillionaire's house, did I? Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so, um, got up and checked, checked. I had a, a missed call from a number I didn't recognize. Come to find out it's my mother. Um, and, and, and to be fair, she had texted me and called me the other day. Had, had she texted me, I'd have known it was her just by the context of uh, a lot of times, and, and this is kind of a bad habit of mine, but a lot of times I don't save numbers in my phone. Um, I'm really not good at it and especially not with Android. Like these are both Androids and they work completely freaking differently. And then the Samsung that Crystal stole from me worked differently as well. Um, so yeah, I, I, I really don't know to say, like if somebody asked me, how do you save a number? I couldn't explain how to do it. Now I can generally bumble through it, but it's, it's always a super awkward and tedious kind of thing when I do it and time consuming. So, so yeah, I, I generally, don't save numbers to my phone. Um, I generally communicate with people through text. So um, if you're somebody I regularly communicate with, you'll be, and you've texted me within the last several days, you'll be in my inbox. Like the longer it's been since you text me, the deeper you are in my inbox, but you'll be through my inbox. Uh, I click on a number, I see the conversation. I'm like, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's my mom. <laughs> There's a picture of her, of her leg, and wow, that looks like it hurts. Uh, yeah, she hurt her, her legs. Uh, she's supposed to be in a wheelchair. It's kind of upsetting and distressing, but uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> but that is also a separate tragedy. Um, anyway. Um, so, yeah, she... Uh, so, so yeah, that was super awkward. So I'm like, hello, <laughs> did you, did you call this number? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's one thing when I call it and it's like a, a phone solicitor. It's like a whole nother level of embarrassing when it's my mother. But, uh, uh, she hit me with, uh, the horribly tragic news that my oldest niece has died. And, um, I'm just... I, I I don't even have words for that. I'm still kind of in shock and still crushed. Um, I forget exactly how old she was, but I'm thinking under 30. I think she was like in her, her mid, might have might have might have made it to her late 20s. You know, it seemed tragic enough when her when my sister, her mother, died on. Uh, on her 40th birthday. And that seemed like an awfully painfully short life um, and, and a senseless end. Uh, at this point, I still don't know uh, how she died. All, I, all I've heard is second. Actually, from what my mother said, it's third-hand information. It's not even second-hand, it's third-hand information. And I did tell my mom, it's like, because she had, she had said that she, the, the person she got the information from was, was uh, playing games with her on the phone. 
about what had happened and that it was kind of upsetting to her. Like, it's it's tough enough to deal with tragic news. Don't fucking play games with me. And I can relate to her, you know, on that. I'm like, yeah, I fucking hate games. I said at this point, that's why I like text messages so much. I can just, you know, I can just read it and process it and deal with it. And she's like, well, I didn't want to text you that. I'm like... <laughs> You know, I guess, I'm just used to reading. That's I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy who reads, uh, you know, um, and I'm not the kind of guy who answers his phone. So, or, or knows how to save contacts on a really shitty, low end, uh, free from the government Android. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was that was. And of course, that conversation had to be kind of hurried because I was already running late for, you know, heading for work and getting ready for work. But that was, uh, yeah, so my head was not in a really good space anyway. And then I started vlogging and I was kind of reminiscing about, uh, about my two nieces, two oldest nieces, which I've both lost this year. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe Bree was into last year, this, this tragedy that is my life, the last, like, two and a half years of my life has just been a, a kind of a blur of, blur of bad news with some occasional happy times in it, um, but, uh, yeah, um, she, uh, just, just, you know, how they're both gone. My uh, second oldest sister is gone. It's a bit younger sister. I'm the oldest of, I'm the oldest of all my siblings, but uh, even oldest of all my step siblings. But that's a that's another <laughs> that's another subject I'm not going to get into today. 